Hi everyone. Hi, welcome to our third week of the Mindful Mass Inner Child Healing Meditation. Um, can't believe it's our third week already, um, but how are you? I hope you've had a great day. And it is Monday, so you might have like the Monday blues, but it's Christmas week for anyone that celebrates it. Um, but yeah, welcome. Oh, hey Paul. <laughs> Welcome everyone. Okay, we're going to get started in a moment. Um, but just a reminder, this is our time um, to just come together for 10 minutes time for you to reset, to reground and really connect with your inner child. Um, creating that time for you is really, really important because um, you never know what is coming up for you. And so allowing yourself the space to feel to acknowledge, to see, to hear is so, so instrumental in your well-being and in allowing you to react in certain situations, uh, sorry, allowing you to respond and not react in certain situations. So it's, um, yeah, it's great. So what I'm going to do, oh, I'll see you soon, Paul. What I'm going to do is, um, yeah, get started. And remember, I'll be recording this. So you be able to um, to watch this at any time. So for anyone that is watching this later on, um, you're welcome to watch it whenever you need it. And tonight we're going to be focusing on anger and allowing ourselves to feel anger because anger is actually a natural emotion, um, but it's more of how you react. So we're going to allow ourselves to cleanse, just declutter um, and allow the space for any anger and resentment that might be coming up for it to be present. So that's the theme for tonight. Um, okay, I think, yeah, let's get started. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some music on, um, just, you know, for the ambience. Okay, so... Hopefully you can hear the music. And now I'm going to invite you to get settled. So wherever you're at, whether you're sat down, you're in your bed, you're laying down, it's just becoming present with, with your body, with the surface that you're on. And we're going to next start to bring the focus to our breath. So I'm gonna invite you to take a deep breath in, count it to four, in through your nose. Two, three, four, and out through your mouth. One, two, three, four, and we're gonna do that one more time. In through the nose, so one, two, three, four, and out through the mouth. One, two, three, four, and last time. In through the nose, one, two, three, four, and out through the mouth. One, two, three, four. And as we're becoming aware and refilling our body with, with conscious breath, we're going to, I'm going to invite you to lower your gaze or completely bring your eyes to a close. And as you close your eyes, I will invite you to envision a light a white light. Now the colour of the light can be any light that is coming up to mind right now. So if it's blue, if it's pink, whatever light it is, um, allow it to be. And this light is here to cleanse, is here to ground us in this moment. And I want you to envision the light coming from the top of your head and it slowly sips into your scalp, your hair follicles. And it continues making its way down to your forehead, all the way down your ears. And with that intention of this light, it's cleansing, it's grounding, it's removing all that is no longer serving us. And as it continues to make its way down, past your mouth, 
down to your throat, decluttering the throat chakra and all the things that have gone on today up until this moment. We're just going to temporarily allow them to be at the side. So we're going to put them to the side with the help of this light. And we can pick them up later after this meditation, but for now, we're going to create this space, this sacred space, to allow ourselves to be present and let go of any responsibilities, any demands, anything that is called to us, we temporarily let it go and deep dive within. And the light continues down your shoulders, your chest, making sway into your heart. Again, cleansing, cleansing any stagnant energy. And down your waist, your back, your lower back, pelvic area, your hips, the groin, thighs. knees, shins, and it continues to make its way down to your ankles, your feet, your toes. And we're covered in this beautiful light that is here and that supported us in grounding ourselves, letting go. And you envision the light going down into the surface, into the ground, into the floor, into the ground, and down into the core of the earth. Allowing the earth, the feminine energy, the mother earth, to ground us, to nurture us, and hold this space for us and with us. And now I invite you to put your left hand onto your heart and your right hand where your stomach is, where your belly is. And this is just another way for us to connect even deeper, to connect with ourselves. And in this moment, I invite you to bring forward a younger version of yourself. Now the younger version of yourself can be any age, it can even be from three, five, ten, feel whatever age, including yesterday, because you are not who you were yesterday. We change every single day, we're a new version of ourselves each day. And whichever version of yourself is coming up in this moment, it's working with them with love and gentleness, acknowledging them and thanking them with gratitude for being with us in this space. And I want to invite you to allow yourself to feel any emotions. Now, it may feel very uncomfortable and you could feel it, whether it's thoughts, it could be in your body, the potential in your body, but wherever you're feeling any anger, I invite you to allow yourself to feel, knowing that this is a natural emotion. Maybe looked down upon, maybe demonized in society. However, anger is a natural emotion. It's okay to feel anger and it's okay to acknowledge it. It's okay to use anger as a tool of deeper healing. And I invite you to allow and give permission to a conversation with this younger version of yourself. Asking questions such as, 
what do I need to know on this label? What do I need to let go of? And what parts of me are holding on to anger, to any resentment? with gentleness, without judgment. We're not here to judge the anger. We're not here to criticize the anger or shame it. Or any of the resentment, any of the emotions that are coming up in this moment. They are welcome, they are free to be with us. It's only by acknowledging how we feel, the emotions deep down, do we really acknowledge and authentically be willing to accept ourselves? Anger is a gateway to acceptance. It's not about the situation, it's not about other people. It's taking back that control within. Compassion and empathy, allowing you to feel it's okay to feel anger. It's okay to give yourself that moment. And if that younger version of yourself is connected to a time where the anger, the situation, the person that sparked that reaction of anger. That's okay, and this is what this is for, embracing that part of yourself, creating the safe space so that you are seeing them, you are holding on to them, you are with them in this moment where you may have felt alone in that moment in your anger, and it's okay, it's allowing them to know that it's okay. It's safe to feel your anger. It's okay for you to feel that anger. That resentment. It's okay for you to have this space that's validating that emotion. And also validating and that delicate part of ourselves with gentleness. That they're okay. They're safe. And the anger that they've been holding on to is with love and gratitude. And we thank them for holding on to that as part of protection and we're protecting us from what may have happened the situation protecting us from whatever it could be and in this moment we just acknowledge and thank them for that protection and in this moment we're also removing that burden from them, allowing that burden to be handed over to that light, that grounding, cleansing and healing light, they no longer have to hold on to that, 
chakras by holding on to anger. For too long or for too long of a length of time. It starts to dim, dim our light. Dim our purpose. And in this moment, it's times like this when we do acknowledge it. That we take back that power, that we realize that by letting our way, letting ourselves feel our way through the anger, action allows us to move that energy through and realize that by letting it go, it's more of a loving act to ourselves outside of the situation outside of the people this is about us it has nothing to do with them it allows us to really look after ourselves so that with this situation or if any situations come up we're dealing with it from a responding, calm, self-loving point of view and not from a reaction or action point of view or a point of view that will only trigger us and deepen and hurt us even more. Acknowledging this anger, allowing ourselves to feel it whether it's in our bodies, the tension that you may feel. tension that you may feel allowing us in this moment to let go of that we love ourselves in this moment we're showing ourselves more love more compassion kindness healing, deeper healing, higher elevation of vibrations that overtake those feelings of anger and resentment, pulling our energies from all the people that are connected to the anger, that have triggered the anger, recycling that energy into more love, for ourselves, more compassion for ourselves, more kindness, understanding, and willingness of accepting who we are authentically, accepting and understanding
just wanna invite you to thank with love, with gentleness, with gratitude, that young version of yourself for all that they've done, all that they did in this moment and what they will continue to do. Reminding them that it is safe, it is safe to feel the feelings and will acknowledge and see them as and whenever they do come up or we'll hold that space. routine, from getting up in the morning, from doing all the daily tasks, that's a form of us showing up. And in this moment, it's even deeper because we're showing up for ourselves. We could be anywhere else right now, but we're following our intuition and our soul to be here, to give ourselves that moment to reground, to get to know ourselves even deeper, accepting ourselves authentically and fully. And the beauty, the freedom and the joy in that is unmatchable. So I invite you to thank you and I thank you for showing up and holding this space for yourselves, for me, for every single person that is also watching as a collective. And whenever you feel like you want to revisit this space, you want a safe space to reground, to connect with your emotion, to work through and move through anger, you're welcome to come back here anytime and listen to this anytime. And as we start to slowly reconnect with our bodies, reconnect with our breath, just because you exist. You are enough, always, and you are worthy, always. And I hope you continue to be willing to accept that for yourself. And as we slowly start to wiggle our bodies and gently opening our eyes. There's no rush, only whenever you're ready and you're more than welcome to continue basking in this energy with your eyes closed, continue having a conversation with the young and you. Stay here as long as you need to.
There's no rush at all. Whenever you feel ready to open your eyes. And I just want to thank you so much for joining me for the third Mindful Mass in a child healing meditation. Like I said, I will save this so you can come back to this at any time. Um, but if you, what I'd probably recommend right now is more than welcome to write down whether that's on your phone um, or journaling or voice recording, writing down whatever came up for you or however you're feeling in this moment. But thank you, thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Serena. So nice seeing you guys. I'll see you next week. Love and light. Bye.